project time i'm so excited to finally renovate this wall we are standing outside my house and i'm going to do a little makeover i have been working on a backyard patio makeover and a full video is going to come up pretty soon but right now i'm going to show you one part of my renovation um, so hopefully you guys can get some ideas if you're interested of putting plants outdoors and making it look nice and cute my name is Deanna and I love plants. My heart beats faster plants. So if you guys like learning about plants and decorating your house with plants, I have been doing a lot of videos about that and plant shopping. So I invite you to subscribe if you're interested and give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos. So more details. This has been, like I mentioned, sitting at the wall side of my house. It looks terrible. Um, basically this is me picking up these two butterflies years ago at a clearance section just because I saw them and I just popped them up here and it's been years and it's okay but it's nothing special this was actually I had bought it to put it inside my house years ago and uh, this was before I was really into plants and uh, I had it in my bathroom and I don't know I like the outdoor feel look inside my house and I had tried different plants, my plants were dying. I didn't know about how plant care back then. I wasn't giving it the right lighting, blah, blah, blah. I ended up just stopping putting plants on it years ago. And I found a hook here, a nail one day, and I just pop popped it on there and I have never even put a plant here. So it looks really off. So I finally stopped and thought, what do I wanna do to this outdoor space? One time looking through Pinterest, I saw something that I fell in love with. And uh, that's what I want to plan to do today. Um, so I have collected the items that I think I will need for this project and I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's come right over here. The main piece is going to be a piece of driftwood. Okay, you see that driftwood? And I actually uh, have a pretty cool story on how we got this. We actually live um, in Eastern North Carolina and we went canoeing to a little island and found this part, this big beautiful piece of driftwood i told my husband i was looking for something like this and he spotted it for me so we brought it home and we think it's going to um, look great so the objective is that this driftwood is going to um we're going to hang different plants off this driftwood that's why i have all these macramates here that i've been collecting so i can use it for this project now plants these are the plants that i'm planning on putting on there i don't know if i'll be able to put three or four but this basically is the plants that I know would do good in this area. Um, we have jungle cactuses. This is my rickrack cactus. This is my orchid cactus. And this is my curly cactus. Um, so these will be receiving morning sun and then it's gonna get bright and direct light all day long. So I'm thinking they're gonna be happy here. And I do have my burrow's tail that I'm also wanting to incorporate in this space. I love that all these plants have different um texture well different looks to them you know one is i mean there are all kinds of different looks to them so i think the contrast between them is going to create an awesome uh, pop and i definitely want to use terracotta pots for this look that i'm going for against the white i think it's going to look gorgeous so one thing i wanted to show you is that i'm thinking i was totally going to try these are definitely not going to be incorporated this though i was thinking I could maybe reuse it for maybe not maybe not this wall but maybe another wall and i might have to spray paint it black and then i'm thinking i might put a burrow's tail there or one of the three horse lines and i think it would look cute so i don't want to throw away anything that's not needed to throw away or give it away so i'm thinking these probably go to goodwill well i don't know I'll look how good they would look or not after i clean them up but um yeah we'll see if we can use any of the items i do have and the new items that did not invest much money in them so that's the best thing this was very i mean all i invested is in my plants my terracotta pots and my macrame so that's not very expensive so hopefully it'll create a nice focal point to this wall so let's get to work okay let's do this this is what i'm going to use to spray it at with i had this already i preferred would have preferred not to have sand or make it flat but that's what I have, so I'm gonna use it. And it says it's good in metal, so we're gonna do this black. Okay, here we go. So these are the hooks we're gonna be using to hang the driftwood against this 
from the ceiling. So basically it's gonna be from the ceiling we're gonna hang it. And we do have plywood or wood on our ceiling so it should hold well. And uh, looking at the shape of the driftwood, decided that this would be approximately the way you wanna position it, hanging off the ceiling with some jute rope. Let's see if our ideas come and dreams come together. So I, I just wanted to show you really quickly, basically how these go on your ceiling in case you're wondering. You basically just choose your spot and you puncture it a little bit and you start twisting. It, it is a little harder at the beginning and then at some point it becomes easier. So that's it, no other tools required other than your hand. And I, you can feel that it's grabbing on to a nice piece of wood and it's gonna be solid. Oh, that's good. That'll be nice. There's the other one already applied. Okay, so I hanged these two different jute ropes, ropes uh, from the hooks and hopefully it'll be the right length. So now I'll put the drift on. Let's see how this goes. Okay guys, I want to give you guys an idea. We are hanging that jute rope. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put that macrame ring so it can hold the driftwood and the macrame ring. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Have my assistant helper. Okay, so this is just to show you a little bit give you an idea how it's looking about to hang the second one there okay guys I'm very happy with the way this is turning out um, basically we're improvising as we go and figuring it out with stuff we advice we had at home basically these are just little jute ropes we're tying a knot here in the back double knot just in case uh, back up there if you want to see the type of knot we did that's the way we figured it out um, to do it and like I said, hang the macrame already by that. And we were able to see that we were able to fit four, which I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought I was only gonna be able to get three. So now comes the plant. I'm gonna repot some plants into terracotta pots and they're coming over here. Exciting! So guys, I wanted to repot this burl's tail, but I'm afraid to do it because they're so delicate. The moment I try to turn it over gently, I'm gonna lose some of it. You know, and I'm thinking, I'm just going to leave it like this. <laughs> it fits good enough. I don't think it shows that much. And that way I don't mess with it. Okay, so that's one plant. And then I just repotted this one. I didn't show you guys, but I did transfer my orchid bark cactus. It was in the Costa Farms 8-inch uh, plastic pot. And I directly planted it in here in this terracotta. And I think it looks so much nicer. Now, this is my curly cactus and I think I'm just gonna leave it here it also has the original plastic that it came in I think for now I'm gonna leave it there I'm not gonna stress about it it fits well I'm gonna leave it there now I'm gonna work with uh, my deshidia let me grab it it's right there this is gonna be my other plant and I have not shown you guys this one but I ended up since I want to use more plants than I was thinking so I'm going to transfer it to this terracotta pot. This is doesn't fit here. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Okay, so. Uh, this one I really, really love. Look, there's little babies coming. Little, It has not done much growth for me, but I did place it outside in my front port patio. And it started growing a little bit. So hopefully it's going to like it back here too. I feel like it's, I'm going to let go a little bit of the soil because I feel like it has a little too much for my pot. And I'm kind of shaping it right now. As I want to pot, pot it up in here, letting some of the soil fall in here. I know they want to, if you have them outdoor, these want to stay a little bit moist. So I just gotta, that's why I think the soil, that it's actually in the original soil it came in from Coastal Farms. I've never messed with the soil and it's happy and that's my philosophy. If a plant's happy, then I'm not going to mess with it. Especially now that it's going to be outdoors, I do want one that retains a little bit of moisture and it's been fine indoors so I think it's gonna be fine outdoors so yeah I gotta do a little bit of squeezing in between being careful not to break much of it but I need do need to gently squeeze it in ah nice okay coming down Oop. okay 
I want to be able to water it and I want the soil to be above the pot level. I think I think that's gonna do it. Let's check her out. Cute, cutesy? Will she be a cutesy? I think she'll be a cutesy. Oh, exciting stuff. Okay. Now let's hang these babies up. Okay guys, so I'm gonna put the little saucers, not only the terracotta saucer, but a plastic little liner. That way I don't have to take them out of the hanging um, bat macrame or the beaded ones. I don't want to have to do best like that. I want to be able to just water them in place and keep them in place. So I think this is a great idea. So I'm going to try to wiggle this baby in gently. Okay, we saved the plant. We're going to stop the video and I'm going to get assistance for this part. Okay guys, so I ended up using, remember this piece that I had? That's done, it's spray painted into black and it seems like it dried very quickly. It's maybe 40 45 minutes later max. And this is the plant that I'm gonna have to I'm gonna put here. I was gonna put it in the other driftwood, and as you saw, I was having a little accident, plus it's just it's way too big. So it's gonna be perfect, I think, for this spot. And instead of using the little metal little pot that it came with that I had did spray it spray paint it in that black but the black doesn't go with the whole style, so I'm just gonna use a terracotta pot, which is even cuter. And we're gonna pop it in here. <sighs> Something like that. I'm gonna get my assistant to help me, just a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna do some repots. I am gonna repot my red grad cactus, and I'm gonna repot my curly, Orchid pot cactus. So I'm just using Miracle Grow Seculent Cactus Palm Potting Mix. That's actually all I have. Actually, you know what? I might use a little bit of this is for potted plants. Oh. And um, I usually don't use it for my indoor plants. I use it for my outdoor plants. It's actually the first time I'm using it. It does have some kind of moisture and retention and i'm going to mix it a little bit because this uh soil for cactus and palms dries out too quickly because they are going to be outdoors they're going to dry out quickly so i don't want to have to water it every three days so i'm feeling comfortable with doing a little bit of a half and half and i'm kind of just trying this for the first time but my experience with these soils teaches me that this little mix for these outdoor cactuses, it's going to be good. Excuse me. Coming over. And I'm going to get this baby out of here. I had this in my kitchen. And uh, I, it wasn't, it was like a temporary spot. <laughs> I'm going to have to use this little palm cocoa planter for another plant. So here we go. So basically these jungle cactus, they don't want to dry out as much as a regular cactus can handle. So that's something I've been learning and having it. So I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to work with maybe a little mixture here. I have some leftover soil here from another pot. So I'm just going to add here to this. here that I'll use for the other one too. Some leaves here. Yeah. I'm gonna put a couple of scoops of this one. Okay, so I just put a few more scoops of the star green outside potting mix that I have right there and you see I like that it has some orchid bark in there so I do like the way that's looking some moisture retention for outdoor plants and but a lot of aeration because it has the orchid bark and the succulent cactus soil 
So I think that should be a good little combo. So, you know, we're gonna lift this baby up. I think I needed one more scoop. There you go. It's a nice warm day here in North Carolina. It's about, ooh, you know, I haven't looked at temperature. Yesterday was 90. Today I'm feeling it's about 80s because it's kind of warm. It's not terrible. It's warm. This should be good. Okay, so let's see if I can hang this up in front of you guys without creating a disaster. <laughs> so I ended up putting the saucers already in there to make it a little bit easier. This is a smaller plan, so hopefully. The transition won't be too crazy. I think this would look good. I could do this. Nah, this would be the best display. So, opening it up. And it's always nice to push this up so that it won't put pressure on the sides here. Ugh. Come on, baby. There we go. Let's see how that looks. How is that looking, guys? Ah, it's looking beautiful. I'm so excited. My dream is coming together. One more plant to pot up. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, guys. So I got another little mix there. We're going to pop this baby in. And then we're just going to backfill a little bit. Not much, but just a little. Maybe I should do it here. I don't want to create a big mess. Okay. Just a little bit there. A little bit of fresh soil over the top. Leave it in here. Let's grab these tentacles. Okay, a little bit there. Yeah, so yeah, I really like any plant that's just different is awesome, right? So this was one that I found at also uh, Lowe's. Sometimes they get them, not all the time. So if you can catch one, I think it's a great idea because these babies can flower. I've had it for a year, it has not flowered, but now that I'm going to put it outside, <gasps> can you imagine if all my plants flower out here? It's going to look amazing. Okay. So, oh, okay. Let's see. That looks good. Let me go give it a little watering and rinse. Voila! So here is the orchid cactus. And I used the same piece that I had, like I mentioned. I painted it black. Um, I put it in the ring. It comes with a ring. But I even re we reinforced it with some copper wire because it was a little bit top heavy and it was tilting too much forward. So we got some copper wire and tied it up in the back. So that seems to do the trick. So are you ready to see the big project? I'm so excited. Let me take you over. Oh, wow. I cannot believe the after. This is about one hour later. Uh, took a little longer because I was repotting pots. But basically, it was a very easy project, guys. Very easy project. I really recommend it. I want this in my living room now so bad on my sofa, on top of my sofa, instead of my big mirror. That's what I was telling my husband, like, ah, uh, I want this in my living room. Now, I, I, what I am thinking is that all these plants will not survive out here during winter. So I'm thinking that during winter, I'm going to take off that big mirror I had in my living room and hang this baby up with these plants. They're not gonna get as much light as they are getting here. They're gonna get medium light instead of bright and direct. But I'm thinking it's okay. Winter, they can slow down their growth. As long as they don't die, I'll be happy. And I'll be able to enjoy this inside my living room. So that's my plan of how I'm going to fit all this inside 
so they'll be okay um, during the winter. But hey, we're in, the, we're in spring and they're gonna be out here between spring, summer, fall, and I'm eager to see how much growth they're gonna get because I think the lighting here is perfect for them. As you can tell, we're in the shade, but it's bright here. And in the morning, they are gonna get some direct light, but it's just bright in the morning, so it's not too harsh that it's gonna burn them. So I think they're gonna be, this type of plant is gonna do great out here and i am in love now i really recommend this project like i mentioned now the hardest part for you guys is going to be finding the driftwood um i have not even looked in amazon if you can find it um but you might and i don't know how expensive it's going to be especially a piece this big um but like i said i think it's going to be a matter of keeping your eyes open and maybe trying to find some. I know some people sell some really nice driftwood sometimes and like handmade uh, fairs where they sell things. Um, maybe you can talk to them about trying to get one that's just in the rough. You know, you don't need one that's all polished up. You just need one in the rough. Um, maybe they can give you a good price. I know, like I mentioned earlier, I know you heard it well. I got, got this one, we found it. And we do live near a river. So we went canoeing and uh, stopped at a little island and this is like 10 minutes away from my house and i had told my husband about that i was looking for something like this and he spotted it out and we brought it back in the canoe and it's a beautiful piece i am shocked how beautiful this is so i'm gonna keep my eyes out for more because <laughs> i am loving this i will put in my description where i got these back these um, beaded hangers i think i think these are very important i think they make I love the look with these beaded hangers with the macrame and um, I know I bought this these beaded ones it came in a set this one with another macrame that was not beaded and the, it was $15 uh, but when I received this and I saw the quality I thought it was great so I ended up buying two of those packs and I ended up with two and then these guys are from all these I don't know if you guys saw that I had just uh, I know put it put it in my Instagram that I had bought these macrame at all these it was a two pack this one and this one for ten dollars 9.99 yeah all this is pretty cool they brought they're bringing more plant stuff and i loved it because you see how the rings are made out of the same kind of wood same like this one and that one and that one so they all matched up so i thought that was so cool to have found that and uh Guys, there's a lot more coming. I'm renovating right beside me. Don't, don't, don't show it yet. That's for the next video. I'm renovating our whole back backyard, back patio area. Basically, we've lived in this house for more than five years. Never really done much to the backyard. But um, I got inspired and told my husband I had some ideas. And we went for it. And I have been doing here and there projects, projects, projects. And it's it, it's coming along wonderfully so I this was part of the, the outside so I wanted to do this but I wanted to go, go ahead and show you a little bit of my backyard patio, patio renovation but there's gonna be a big old section that's coming up that I want you guys to see how you guys with a little bit of time imagination uh, planning and always trying to be thrifty in the ways we buy things so we don't spend a lot of money we can renovate our home interior into a very peaceful and beautiful area that every time you walk to your living room bathroom outside that you are <sighs> this is beautiful i get to live here so i think it's awesome we personally live in a older home a 1936 home and we have been renovating all of it and we're trying to not get in debt and do it in cheap way and enjoy our home so uh, we're enjoying it a lot uh, and hope to pass along some tips to you guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and share it with some friends thank you for watching hasta luego bye